Hey guys, this is Clay with Minute Ministry. So I am back and we are talking about Luke 22 verses 31 and 32. I started this yesterday and we were just talking about the depth of scripture and how scripture can be so much deeper than what we think sometimes. We just read it through once and we say, eh, well, I got it. Well, in this scripture, it says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he may sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. And so yesterday we talked about how Jesus was praying that his faith wouldn't fail, knowing that he is going to fail. And today I wanted to talk about the commission after the fact, right? After the fact. All of a sudden it's like, hey, when you've turned again, I need you to take up your responsibility. You're a leader in this. And you know what? Whenever you've turned back again, I need you to strengthen your brothers. Hey, you know that John, eh, he was with me there at the cross. He's still going to be needed to be strengthened. None of the other disciples, they might have scattered, but we don't see any of the rest of them denying Jesus. We see them scattered and running away and scared. Peter stayed closer but denied Jesus, right? And in through this, it's not the failure, right? It's... The fact that, hey, Peter, what's inside of you, what's strong in you, that is what your brothers are going to need. So once this is over with, I need you to turn and strengthen your brothers. So look at this. Jesus isn't looking at his failure as in like, oh, well, I'm done with you. He says, look, no, no, no. I know that this is going to be a failure and I still want to use you. A lot of times we disqualify ourselves from being used because we say, oh, well, God, you know, wouldn't use somebody like me because of what I've done. And we see here, Paul, Peter hasn't even done anything yet, but Jesus already knows and still says, hey, I need you to turn and strengthen your brothers. I have to have you do this. Like, this is what I want from you. So a lot of times we disqualify, uh, disqualify ourselves from the call. But in this, Jesus is like, no, look, not only are you going to mess up, but you're going to mess up and I'm still going to, I'm still going to use you. I still want you to turn and strengthen your brothers. So what is God calling you to do? And what have you run away from? Because you said, you know, I don't think I'm qualified to do that. Not with how much I've made mistakes. I've made so many mistakes. I can't do that. God, you, you wouldn't really call me, or I've messed it up. You might have called me before, but now that I've messed it up, I can't do that. And I think Peter would have had the same thoughts. Like, I can't do this. I'm not qualified to do this. I denied you, Jesus. Everyone else just ran away, but I denied you. Who am I to, to be qualified to tell everyone else to strengthen them? But Jesus says, no, 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 no. You're the perfect one for this. I need this from you. I want this from you. I'm calling you to do this. So, so guys, don't let your failures define what it is that you can do. Thanks for taking a minute.